get in the zone, break, hi we are SB19, and we're hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. What's up guys, Rob here from Front Row Live Entertainment. I am finally hanging out here in LA with SB19. Yeah. How's it going everyone? It's great to be here. I'm, I'm so, so excited. excited. Yes, absolutely. I, I've, I know the fans have been waiting for you guys to come to, to LA. Um, what was it like arriving to the airport and just getting, you know, so many fans out there waiting for you, expecting you there. But on top of that, my favorite word, bulaklak. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> When we arrive at LA, they actually like surprise us with bulaklak. Yeah. But it's not really flour. It's, it's a flour made money. from money. Yeah. Oh, even better. <laughs> yeah. Even better. Even better. Even but yeah, better. LA is pretty exciting, even though uh, it's it has a different vibe from uh, New York because yeah. New York is really busy. Yeah. And the place where we stay in is really quiet and just chill. So. I, I feel like I, I belong here better <laughs> than New York. Yeah. Uh, you guys. It feels like real life GTA. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the gamer here. Yeah. <laughs> like when you're when you're when we were like along the highway. Yeah. It feels like it's a it's a video game. You, know, you can see the, the stage or you know the setting of the GTA San Andreas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll definitely see it all. Yeah, I thought I'm in a movie. <laughs> yeah. But uh, at, at, on top of everything, we're just so excited to perform and to see our fans here in LA because awesome. it's the the concert is sold out, so yeah. it's going to be a great show. That's really exciting because um, it's it's your first ever world uh, world tour, and New York was the first stop. I'm jealous for New York for getting the first experience of SP19. <laughs> what was it like right. uh, performing at the Palladium in New York? Oh well, of course. Um, we were really, really nervous when we performed there because it's the first leg here in the U.S. So we just we we weren't expecting anything, but when we were on stage, we thought that it's going to be you know like bleak or something mm. like. But they were cheering a lot, and a lot of foreigners watched the show. So yeah. I feel like we're succeeding here in the U.S. because you know we're, I, we thought that f uh, only Filipinos will watch, but. There are lots oh. of foreign fans as well. Who you'd be surprised. Yeah, yeah, you'd we be were, surprised how many and, fans. And you the have. foreigner fans were shouting really loud. It, I, mean, <laughs> I could really pinpoint them in the audience. They even know our songs. They even know our songs. Yeah. The lyrics. Wow. Yeah. Even the our Tagalog songs. Yeah. They know the lyrics. They sing with us. Like especially the Mapa. Yeah. I'm so That's shocked. A big song. Yeah. yeah. Even the rap part. <laughs> yeah. They. 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 they yeah, oh my honestly, God. Honestly, yeah. Well, it's really, it's really special, and it's really something when. Uh, fans from different countries who mm. don't know anything about uh, the Filipino language yeah. sing our song and try to memorize it. It's it's really special, and uh, we're really thankful because they they had time to you know study and memorize the lyrics. So. Yeah, I feel it's like great. it's a good way to kind of learn the language as well. I feel like yeah. next time next time when you guys come back for a full blown tour, I feel like they're gonna know what they're singing. It's not just repeating the words. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about uh, the current single right now. Where you at? Um, first ever Filipino. Uh, I'm sorry. First ever English track. Yeah. How different was it coming up with this song and recording it at the same time? Just because it was. I know you guys all speak English, but it's different when you yeah. when you have that Tagalog mindset when you're recording or writing music as opposed to when you have the English mindset. So what was that experience like in the recording studio? I guess to this question, I will pass it to the other members <laughs> um i think we um with recording the english song it's quite different you know filipinos uh, we have this accent that we, we, it's kind of strong yeah that we say words it's kind of like um let's say like bulaklak 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 <laughs> we op really open our yeah. our mouth but then with this english song i think pablo was trying to um want us to sing that um our words will be more comfortable to mm. to listen to like um he he wants it to be like you can just listen to it e even though you don't really clearly understand the words but then you understand the feeling mm. the the message of the song i think that's what he's trying to do so for me i think the challenge for me is that the 
um, how I'm going to pronounce the words, yeah. especially with the th. Let's say three, yeah. l- like that. I cannot really. I'm having a hard time to pronounce it. But then, you know, there's yeah. It's more on the pronunciation. I'm I'm glad you touched on that because that was one of the things that I was curious about. Because there's, there's certain words or or letters that go together in English that yeah. you can't really say them in Tagalog. Yeah. Um, so you know, was that one of the main challenges? Yeah, I think in Tagalog there's not there's no much th yeah. in in our words. It's really it's like yeah. So that's why it's hard for me to pronounce it. <laughs> we really have uh, a lot of words that requires like hard hitting or mm. hard, hard pronunciations mm. in Tagalog and I feel like in English it, it's a little laid back you know you, you just get to uh, maybe you have to cut some letters uh, what's, what's that called? yung parang cut letters yung parang silent silent okay. silent T's yeah, yeah. and stuff like those kinds of I, I just re- words I just realized that we don't have um, words in Filipino or Tagalog that's um, two consonants preceded silent? with. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's always a consonant and then a vowel. Yeah. I mean, no you're learning. You're learning a lot from like both cultures. <laughs> like when you mix them together. Go for it. <laughs> Go for it's it. An exception. It's Go an for exception. it. <laughs> okay. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, as far as the creative process for this song, like. Um, what was that experience like going into the studio? I know you mentioned like some of the vocalization was a little difficult, but how did you guys come together and figuring out like who was going to do what kind of vocal range for this song in particular? Uh, Pablo knows. Well, normally since we have a different, uh, we have a wide range of um, vocal. Uh, Ken has the lowest voice, and then I'm I'm more of the middle ma- man, and then he's like uh, low middle. Uh, no, you're, I think you're the middle, middle, low middle, and middle to high, and then he's the high, high. He has the highest voice, so I try to utilize that in the song in a sense wherein, um, you could r- really see the dynamics in the song. So there is a climax wherein mm. Sel would sing the high notes, and in the in the first part or in the latter part there will be like low voices where in Kenwood uh, really shine mm-hmm. so I try to like place everything in in a sense wherein we could all shine together as a team yeah without you know consider uh, without uh, risking the abilities of the other members yeah Ken with the with the low kind of notes like do you feel like a song like this that has more kind of energy do you think like or did you feel like that was harder for you to execute in the recording process or even in the live show uh no because uh it's it's for me it's my strength and i yeah. uh-oh <laughs> <laughs> uh-oh because i think i think he has he has the hardest part mm. because he always has to set the the pace he set the tone the right? tone right so he always says that he's kind of nervous when starting the song he's always the uh, first one to sing yeah but now, uh, since I, I since I've been doing that a lot of times, and most of our songs, I, I I'm in the intro part, so I'm I think I'm confident now yeah. than before. So is is Ken always the first one to record vocals in the studio, or does it change? No, uh, depends on who's <laughs> who's <laughs> yeah who wants to do it. But um, sometimes I feel like yeah I, I can do it. Yeah. yeah. Why did you feel now was the right time for another song? Uh, to be honest, I wasn't really, we wasn't really thinking about, like, releasing an English song, per se. Mm. Uh, we just released a song, and it just happened that the music that we created is, it uh, feels like the, the the language that should be used is English. Yeah. So, we didn't really think about whether it, could, it would be Filipino or English. Sometimes we uh, use both of the language, so, so we code mix even in our like in the in the sentence we try to incorporate english both english and filipino so yeah, yeah I, we feel like in this track it should be english right it's the feeling. Yeah. yeah it's more in the fe- feeling and as far as the feeling goes when it comes to the choreography uh for s- this song in particular yeah when does the choreography start to happen uh is this something that sh- happens when you guys are already recording the song and you have the chore- the choreography going you know on your mind or is this something that after you record the song you guys get together and figure out the choreography well it depends but 
uh, for the song Where You At. I think while Pablo is making the music, I already making some, you know, um, choreography, mm -hmm. but the, yeah, uh, uh, just a concept. Mm -hmm. And um, I ask, I always ask Pablo, um, what do you want uh, to, you know, it depends on the music. Yeah. Because sometimes um, the music um, comes later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, how can I say this? Because for me, uh, I, I need to listen to music first yeah. before, you know, I make a concept or make... Because in our songs, we need to make this um, signature dances, yeah. signature dance move. So it's uh, I always ask the members how what do they feel and what do they think is the... Uh, what move will fit mm -hmm. to that song and it depends on the lyrics oh, yeah. yeah as well because um for the the song where you at um it's about reconnection yeah. so we made this move um reconnection like this so yeah we just decide i ju we decided to um make this the uh, what do you call this the si signature the dance signature. because it really fit the the lyrics the vibe and also the whole um, concept of the song so yeah I th I think sometimes uh, the whole choreography would make sense once the lyrics is already there mm -hmm. because sometimes I let him listen to the music first but you know it will be still different when there's already the lyrics yeah. so for example uh, reconnecting he thought of it he 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 just thought of it uh, of this move mm -hmm. once. Once we recorded the the lyric reconnection, yeah. so wow. yeah, I think it varies. Yeah, you never know. I just you just have to listen. Yeah, yeah. and there was a time where I already created the choreography, but then he added some instrumentals. So I need to change the <laughs> choreography a bit just to you know to fit the the steps and the music together. Yeah. He's making it difficult. Yeah. <laughs> Should I not? Tigasang <laughs> ulo. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Just a little bit. Um, for you, like, where do you feel like you felt challenged during this uh, entire process? Well, and what was, like, what was some of your favorite moments during the recording process? Challenge? Everything is a challenge <laughs> to me. Life uh, is, life is uh, yeah. It's, well, I think the hardest part of the Wyatt um, could be... Uh, no, actually, it's not that hard for recording. us. Yeah, but but maybe well, we, yeah. We, we recorded this song two times. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, yeah, I think uh, yeah, and maybe the the time frame mm -hmm. for doing this because it was uh, it's w usually we do it for uh, preparations for music videos, yeah. music recording. We have a lot of time in order to prepare, but for where you at, we had to do it in a small time frame. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a lot of schedules busy uh, with other stuff. Then we have to put it in the middle of our schedules. Yeah. So I think that's the hardest part. And what else? Uh, my favorite, well, the the shooting of the music video because it was a different concept. It was a totally different concept and you know a uh, thing for us we time traveled and stuff so wow. we had we learned nice. roller skates and we had to wear some wigs <laughs> and I, I saw uh, w uh, I saw stealth wigs uh, during the the shoot sure. then I took it then uh, inverted it, have it. <laughs> <laughs> then inverted it put it in put it upside down then I should for the what did I call this eighties era? Nice. Yeah, it was it was really fun. It was really fun. And I'm sorry. <laughs> um, for for the music video shoot, uh, we didn't uh, feel any stress or big problem because I think um, the team that we had for this music video really organized everything so that it's it really um, became smooth yeah. and we finished like. Um, how do you call this? We finished the music video shoot like smoothly or mm. on on par on time. On time, yeah, okay. like them. Yeah, yeah. Now, <laughs> do you feel like this song is setting the tone for an, an album for 2023? Like, what kind of t and if so, what kind of tone does that set? Is it like a more of an English kind of tone? Is it more of a the Galo kind of tone? Is it a mixture of both? 
it's always a mixture of everything. Mm -hmm. Because uh, every time we release a song or an album, we always try to be spontaneous. We always try to um, mix together all of the genres that we like. Yeah. And all of the emotions that we're exper experiencing. For example, um, I'd I'd be asking uh, Justin De Jos, um, what 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 do you want? What do you want to include in our latest album, or what do you feel right now? Yeah, he will be saying, um, I like to, you know, I like to create a love love song for my for a certain someone. Uh -oh. It's just an example. You know? <laughs> it's just an example. Then then I, I like this kind of tone. I like this kind of um, <laughs> genre. So then, and then I will build. I will build from that, yeah. and then other other members as well. So I will be asking them for yeah. what they, whatever they like, and we try to like incorporate that and try to like put that in one album. So it it's a it's a group group yeah. effort. Now you guys have a difficult task of being the first of many uh, back home, the first with Billboard charts, the Thank first you. for these kinds of media opportunities, the first basically for a lot of things. Um, how important is it knowing that you are able to represent back home Philippines uh, here in the in the states in in such a bigger kind of platform? Uh, and what kind of challenges do you feel that? Well, when that we you? when we first uh, started, when we, before we started our tour, we were really anxious. We were really worried that it might not work. But then when we sp spoke to um, Consul General Cato mm -hmm. in New York. Uh, he's the consul general of the Philippines in the in the um, uh, what do you call that? NCCA, NCCA Central Rizal uh, um, uh, Consul General. Yeah, the embassy. Uh, yeah. yeah, we realized a lot of things that um, this is a responsibility for us. It's not. It's not something that we should be um, carrying on our shoulders with lots of pressure or burden. Um, it's something that we should be thankful for and that we because we are able to do. Uh, what we love, singing and dancing, we're able to enjoy our career, but at the same time, we're um, able to inspire lots of people and motivate them. So, um, for all the Filipinos out there, or all the all, all our supporters, uh, we just try to, you know, uh, create a, create songs that will really uh, give messages of hope, uh, give messages of you know, mo just motivate them in whatever they do in life, and. Yeah, just our whole the, our whole journey or experience in life, um, um, hoping that uh, it teaches them and or helps them in in their also lives. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, congratulations. I really hope that this representation allows more of these Filipino talent to come out. Um, most recently, it's been KZ that's been out here, yeah. Inigo yeah. that's been out here, Kiana that's been out here, uh. Ben and Ben. But it's like I, I think it stops there. It hasn't. There hasn't been more than that. So. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys break into the world yeah. and uh, yes. create more music. So SB19, thank you so much for hanging out thank with me. You, thank you, Guys, be sure to check out SB19, the new single. The first ever English single is out now. It's titled Where You At. And uh, thanks for watching here on Front Row Live. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so for much. having us. Thank you so much.